Hey, Deliverance Chronicles family, I just want to um, pray with you today. Today we want to pray the promises of God. Uh, God uh, is immutable. His promises are immutable. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ever ask, desire, or think, no matter what. No matter what it seems like. Father God, I just want to thank you. I just want to give you praise and honor and glory, God. I want to thank you, Lord, that you do all things well. I want to thank you, God that you work all things for the good. I want to thank you, Lord, for your name is great and you are worthy to be praised. And from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of your Lord, of the Lord is to be praised. Father God, as we come before your throne of grace, Lord, Joshua, Joshua 21 and 45 says, not one of all of the Lord's good promises to Israel fail. Everyone was sort of fulfilled. Father God, we have some pending prophetic utterances, Lord, that has been released to us from your spirit, Lord, from you, yourself. And Lord, we are believing, God, that nothing that you've ever said to us will ever pass, will ever fail. Father God, because your word declares that your word has to do exactly as it was set forth to do. And so, Lord, let it be so. Joshua 1 and 9, and says, God is always with me. This is my commandment. Be strong, be courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord, your God, is with you wherever we go. And Father God, there's times that we feel alone. We feel like we have no one. We feel like you don't hear us. We know that's not true because you are not moved or your existence, your power, your authority is not based on how we feel. So Father God, we're thankful that you're always with us. Hebrews 10, 23 says, let us Hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promises is faithful. And Father God, we're just thankful that you're faithful. We're thankful, Father God, that you've never forget, forgotten us. We're thankful, God, that no matter where we've been, where we've gone, how we've turned our back, how we've walked away, you have never not been faithful to us, even when we don't deserve the mercy that you give us, God, you are faithful. God is kind and compassionate, Isaiah 54, 10. Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love and kindness for you will not be shaken. For my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Father God, thank you for being compassionate to us. Thank you, Lord, that even when we're not so compassionate, Lord, you never stop being compassionate to us. And Lord, we bless you and honor you for that. God designed me for a purpose, Ephesians 2, 10, for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you've created all, all of us, Lord, in your image and likeness. And Lord, I'm thankful, Lord, that you created us with a purpose and we do all things well. We are the split image of who you are in the mighty name of Jesus. God's love for me is deep no matter what Romans 8 30 and 39 for I'm convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither the present nor the future nor any powers neither height nor depth or anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus God gives me power for my life Timothy 1 7 1 Timothy 1, 7 reads, For the Spirit of God, the Spirit that God gave us does not make us timid or give us power, love, and self-discipline. So Father God, as we come to you today, we declare that you have not given us a spirit of fear. You have not given us a spirit of timidity. You have not given us a spirit of being anxious, Lord. We come against those spirits that are in operation or trying to take movement over our lives. Right now in the name of Jesus. Psalm 1611 says, You will make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with your joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Lord, I just want to thank you that just your presence brings joy. That we can rely on you, God, to bring us into a place if we trust in you. To not always be affected by what we look like or what we think or what we seem. But Father God, you will always, God, bring us into a place where there's joy. 
God will strengthen me and help me. Isaiah 41 and 10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with the righteous right hand. Father God, thank you for upholding us with your righteous right hand. God will give you wisdom. James 1 and 5. If any of you lack wisdom, you should ask. You should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault? And it will be given to you. Father God, thank you for not least leaving us alone without the answers. Thank you, Lord, for your spirit that gives us what we need, when we need it, Lord. Even the things that are not explicitly written, Lord, by your word, by your word, God, that you will explain to us. And I thank you. Lord, thank you for the abundant life, God. Thank you, Lord, that you have plans for us, God. Jeremiah 29, 11, for I, am the, for I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. They are plans of good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Hebrews 10, 23 says, Let us hold tightly without, without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promises. And Father God, this morning we thank you for your promises to us. We thank you, God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We thank you, God, that we're on the land of the living. We thank you, Lord, that we are alive. We thank you, Lord, that you promised us uh, to complete us. You promised to give us an expected end. I thank you, Lord, that even right now, Lord, as I sit in this house, Lord, I'm asking you right now to be with us, go with us, Lord. Bring us to a place of revelation and understanding. Give us a whole new facet, God, of who you are, that we may know, God, that there is none like you, and you're trustworthy, and you're faithful, and we can trust in you. Lord, I thank you for never leaving me to my own devices. Lord, as many mistakes as I've made in my life, I thank you, Lord, that you are working all things for the good. 